So this night is a bit of a celebration really of what's been a really fantastic exhibition and engagement programme that's been very generously funded by Arts Council England and is the brainchild of a lot of partners. So we've been working with National Portrait Gallery, Apples and Snakes and the National Literacy Trust as well. And we've all kind of come together to create this programme but really we're kind of the, the vessel for it and it's been the hard work of lots and lots of different people behind the scenes. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Tully House. Yeah. That's more like it. Welcome to Pictured Poet. Did you guys see the exhibition? Yeah. Was it nice? Yeah. Well, this is the show. It's words and music from national and local acts. And we have applause as she approaches the stage. A curse on the children who tap the mouthpiece with the heel of their hand to make a popping sound. Who drop the trumpet on the floor, then laugh. A darker curse on those who fall with a trumpet in their hands and selfishly save themselves. I don't have a choice about it. It's more than just a hair colour. A race of whites but limited edition. My parents don't share my gift though they look on with a loving eye. Us two, who are reflected back in the eyes of all the people who look. Us two, who make puns all day for want of something better to do. Us two, the two of us. The first time I read them a mirror poem, where the, you read, it goes forward and then the poem reverses, uh, one of them stood up and got so excited and the chair fell over on the floor and they did a little scream. And you don't really get that with adults, that kind of un unbridled excitement about poetry. Take off your clothes, they said. So she did. And they prodded and poked and made their assessments and led her to a fun house mirror. The people I met in jail are the best people I know. We laughed in our despondency and sadness. Dancing around to Kerrang, we put on a show. It felt really good because it was my first time performing and I was absolutely petrified, but it was actually um, better than I expected. I think it's a really good opportunity just for us to like show our work. I wear my clothes for me. I do not wear my clothes for you. If it is hot, I am going to wear shorts. My resultant display of skin is not an avant-garde attempt to bed an English teacher or a geography <laughs> teacher or the head of art school. Okay, this one's called Happy. I know how to tell you I'm happy, how to say I love you. I know how to tell you that you're beautiful, magnificent. You know, the only reason the sun gets up before dawn every day is just so we can be fresh by the time he meets you. <laughs> Did I ever tell you that that goes for me too? I mean, I know I've never really been one for early rises, but look, I despise myself for every second. My eyes have been too close to see that you've always been there for me. And I'm swell. Today I learned four new languages and three new instruments. I got my black belt in karate, a gold medal in being awesome, and a blue ribbon at the horse show. I don't have a horse. But everyone there agreed that if I did, I'd probably win. It's absolutely fantastic. I wasn't sure what to expect. Um, I knew it was something poetry and that it had Ian McMillan. That's all I knew in advance. <laughs> and it's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. The whole, uh, everybody. Uh, and I love the, perf the, the quality of performance as well as the content. Um, especially from the, the people who've never never done anything before. I suppose it's reinforced or brought back or reminded me um, how good poetry can be and how varied and how challenging and how much it makes you think. <laughs> you will not catch my love on a cold day walking down the beach staring at the sky wondering why the stars are yellow. Nah, blood. My love rails against the rain of bruised hills and broken lips. You see, my love is an alchemist. It will turn lead into dust and hopes you're impressed with that. That's my love. Warts and all, it's the bitterest of pills and if you know it like I know it, would you love it still? Cheers. Edinburgh, oh, Edinburgh. 
Edinburgh, you old tart, trussed up in fairy lights, trancing those curious ones with your curios and tartan bric-a-brac, your knickers out to dry, hanging aside the rest, your dirty washing flaps as your packaged history blows. What we looked at over our few sessions was about how you can express yourself as a poet um, using poetry, but in a variety of different ways. A disconnected throbbing, a disjointed rhythm. Your feet beat a song, a song I could not hear. I'm writing a letter, it's to my future. It will outline how fortunate you've made me, with opportunities whizzing past while I scramble to catch them. I think that we need to use you when people rely on trust while they must understand who we are. The leaves swirled with might, its head tall with pride. The owl inquired, why do the tree look so bright? The sun is my bride, the tree replied. You are sea drifting, sky blurring, tree growing. You are in my mind, my place, escape and landscape. You know, sometimes when somebody's lost a dog or a cat and they put a notice on a tree, lost dog or cat, I found this notice in a little village in Devon, between like, two villages, and this tree, one tree between the villages, this fantastic notice, it's a poem on its own. It just says, where can we go to watch people play badminton and eat our sandwiches? <laughs> yes, where can we go? I've got no idea, where can we go? I don't know. I love the way it says badminton with a pin round it. And now, nobody will ever know because I've pinched the notice. Nobody will ever know where to go. Where can we go? I'm not telling you. And I think. Tonight was such a culmination, such a celebration of new writing by young people, writing by some top, top performance poets, and the music, and it all seemed to work together. And But what made the night for me was this willing audience who were just willing to have a good time. Ready, dead it's ready, dead it's ready for the red light on his light, green light, go, whoosh! Missed it. To the rain, spot a train, spot a train, train, train. To the rain, spot a train, spot a train, train, train. Got the sandwiches, got the great big flask, big bag of crisps, pocket full of sweets, chocolate bars and yorky bars and all those flipping penguins. Yes, all those flipping penguins. Because Derek's ready, Derek's ready, Derek's ready, Derek's ready for the red light, on his light, green light, go, whoosh! Missed it. It always excites me when you think, gosh, we've had a night that's been made in a, an art gallery that's in the theatre of an art gallery on a Friday night in a northern city and it's so exciting and you think blimey why can't everybody come everybody should come and just experience this and what I want is that everybody who leaves this building goes I could have a go at that I could write a poem I could take a picture I could think about combining the two so yeah tonight was fantastic but we don't get a lot of, of this sort of thing, so it's um, it, it's it's really good to to, to come to, to probably more further flung places as well, so that people get an opportunity to experience things that you wouldn't normally see. I mean, it's not something that I would normally do on a Friday night. I don't think in Carlisle. So I'm, I'm, no, I'm I'm really pleased I came. Oh, mm -hmm.